The epididymis describes the long tube behind male testes that stores and carries sperm. In this visual mnemonic video, we'll give you all of the important facts you'll need to know about the epididymis. Our scientists have gone out on an expedition to the African savanna. You can tell by the expedition truck loaded with all sorts of gear. This expedition is our symbol for epididymis. Get it? Because expedition sounds like epididymis? The epididymis is located right behind the male testes. More specifically, it connects directly to the end of the seminiferous tubules of the testes. If you remember from previous videos, these seminiferous tubules are the site of spermatogenesis, or sperm creation. After immature sperm are created in the seminiferous tubules, they travel directly into the epididymis. The epididymis serves an important function in sperm development and progression through the testes. Let's explore the scene to learn some more about these functions. These scientists heard a rumor that there were frogs in the dry desert environment of the savanna. They couldn't resist the urge to go study this phenomenon. It looks like they've already caught a tank full of tadpoles to take back to the lab. Tadpoles are a recurring symbol for sperm because tadpoles kind of look like sperm cells. Therefore, this tank, which is holding or storing the tadpoles, should help you remember that the epididymis stores sperm that arrives from the seminiferous tubules. Got that? Now, let's turn our attention to the tadpoles themselves. It seems like some are already developing legs and maturing into frogs. These maturing tadpoles should remind you of maturing sperm. The epididymis is the primary location where immature sperm called spermatozoa mature into fully developed sperm. Let's keep learning about our tadpoles to learn how sperm mature in the epididymis. Wow, one of these maturing tadpoles is even trying to jump out of the tank. You could even say they're moving very well on their own. In other words, these tadpoles are highly modal. These modal tadpoles should help you remember that sperm gain motility in the epididymis. If you recall from our previous videos, the spermatozoa that first enter the epididymis are not capable of motion. However, in the epididymis, these immature sperm gain more mitochondria. The mitochondria provide the energy needed for the sperm to move. These maturing sperm also develop longer tails, known as flagella, to propel their motion. Through this process, immature sperm develop into fully-fledged modal sperm in the epididymis. Next, take a look at the Vaseline container that that scientist is holding. It looks like the dry air of the savanna has made his lips crack, so he really needs the Vaseline to moisturize. This Vaseline is our symbol for vas deferens. Get it? Vaseline for vas deferens? The vas deferens is a tube connected to the end of the epididymis. During ejaculation, mature sperm are propelled from the epididymis into the vas deferens, which eventually connects to the urethra. Just picture this Vaseline to remember that the vas deferens follows the epididymis in the ejaculatory pathway. All right, that's it for the epididymis. Let's summarize. The epididymis is a long tube connected to the end of the seminiferous tubules. It functions to store sperm, and it is the location where sperm mature and gain motility. These mature sperm are then propelled into the vas deferens during ejaculation. Okay, now we're actually done. I can't wait to see what other wildlife we'll find on our expedition. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.